As with many governments throughout the world, African governments are famous for establishing commissions to investigate stormy matters of public importance. The issues range from food security, water shortage, education policy, unlawful killings, all areas that touch upon every area of our economic, legal, and social existence. Indeed, as Walter Begot notes, the great maxim of modern thought is not only the toleration of everything, but the examination of everything. Critics often warn that the, the establishment of commissions by government is usually an indication that the government has no intention of doing anything about the problem. Commissions are often criticized for buying time, burying issues, and being a waste of time and resources. Despite these criticisms, African governments continue to use commissions, and in fact, their, their use is rising and escalating. Commissions are even becoming permanent creatures of government and governmental structures. What is it about commissions that makes governments continue to use them in spite of all these criticisms? How have commissions behaved in their encounter with African social political contexts? Have commissions remained true to their classical roots? These are some of the questions that I am tackling during my time here at WICO. My project takes up the law of commissions and argues that commissions have become technologies of rule and governance that manage diverse tensions and questions on the African continent. I examine commissions and the role that they play in illuminating law's rigidity, breaking down the boundaries of law, and challenging conventional narratives about what law is and what it constitutes. The future of law in Africa lies in unpacking, unraveling, and understanding the law of commissions. <laughs>